Martin, I be on my mm, mm, I can't really see what did I miss mm, mm, X strippers mm, mm. Good morning Good morning Hello and how are you? I got a new one, I got a new one, y'all ready? Making my way downtown, holding back something, something. I'm feeling something. And I want you. And I need you. What is wrong with you? What's good, people? Well, can't check on our girl. So, apparently, they haven't got her in the shop yet. So they getting ready to put her in today and they gonna see if it is um, the injectors. They're gonna check it. They got the invoice, so they are gonna see what it is. Check the invoice, check what they gotta check. And they gonna let me know something. So I'm back rolling, man. So I did a couple, I did what y'all boys said, man. <clears throat> I went ahead and put it down for a little minute. Let it sit down. And I said, let me go ahead and turn myself into a company driver for a little minute, man. That's what your boy rolling in. The Volvo, baby. The Volvo. Y'all see my girl. So, we just got, like I said, hey, man, we said we're going to be a company driver for a little while, oh, right? Excuse the hair and everything. I was running back and forth from my truck to the office. So, y'all know what it is, man. We're going to go ahead and get in here. I'm going to show y'all the inside of the truck for a minute. So, let me get in here. Let me get situated. I'll turn y'all back on in a minute. Yo, alright y'all. Welcome inside my new home for a little while, for a couple weeks. Yeah, it's spacious in there. But guess what? Guess what I'm missing? Guess what I'm missing? I'm about to lose my mind. Y'all already know. I mean it's kinda cool because you ain't gotta as I take back all the bad things I said about everybody that drive automatic trucks. It's alright a little bit, man. Y'all feel me? So, we about to get on this new journey. Like I said, we're a company driver now. We ain't doing, we, 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 we not own and operated or independent right now. We're a company driver for a driver, at, uh, a fleet owner at Landstar, paid pretty good. So we gonna let you know what the first, um, we gonna let you know what the first uh, 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 week look like, you feel me? So, let's get ready to roll. Yo! What's that? How y'all doing? <clears throat> Listen, well, I didn't have the time in the past the three days. So, as y'all seen, we jumped in, you know, we jumped in the truck um, for a drive in here last time. So, we're getting in the truck to go pick up our first little Guess what happened? Check it like, come on. I end up taking it to the. I end up taking it to the um, Volvo up in North Georgia. Sat there for uh, about two days. Get loaded up Monday, then leave out till Tuesday, right? Then when I get ready to leave, I went down the road, pulled over to get some fuel, a little thirty-minute break, and my little security check because I wanted to have man. One of the packets come off the truck. I'm glad I had an extra I had an extra packet. I'm so glad I had an extra packet. So, ended up chilling right where I was, but I didn't know I had an extra packet. The, the placard had, it was up underneath the papers and all that under the chair, so you know I couldn't really move nowhere because I'm, I don't have a proper. I don't have the proper, um, I don't have the proper placards on that to be on the road. So I'm, you know, chilling, you know, I just, I had to calm down and I had to think. I'm thinking like, man, what's going on with me, man? This, this, this time bad, this time this, this time that. Close my eyes, calm down, to the cold breaths, and I started to pray. As I prayed, you know, I just felt a little bit better. Then I come to realize that, man, everything that's happening to me, man, I feel like it are things that's getting out of the way for me to be able to receive the blessing. 
blessings that I'm getting ready to give you. So I come to you to tell you this, man. You might be going through a storm right now. But that's going on. <clears throat> it, sometimes it lasts for a good minute. Sometimes it feels like it lasts forever. But don't, don't, don't stop having faith. Believe. Keep striving. Keep going to the, in the direction that you're going in. Keep heading that way. Keep going forward. Keep pushing through because eventually the sun's going to shine again. And when the sun shines again after the storm, it's going to shine harder than it did before the storm. No, ain't that right? He ain't lying. So you just got to be ready for it. I know somebody going through some things right now. So whatever y'all going through, man, like I said, man, it's just, it's just temporary. This, this is not permanent. It's just temporary. It's just a temporary thing you're going through. Just to make sure that when you receive your blessing, you know where your blessing comes from. Because right now, while your boy was rock bottom right now, man, I was, I was down. I was, man, listen, I ain't feel like recording that. I ain't feel like doing that, man. But I got a strong woman at home. You know what I'm saying? She had my back. She told me some positive things. You know, I got a couple subscribers that, you know, reached out to me. Shouts out to that boy, Tony. Tony stopped by at the tow truck for picking up my, my truck. He stopped by to holler at me. He stayed out there with me tomorrow. My, 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 my fiance can't pick me up. You know, shouts out to the young man I just met today in the um, Flying J. Yeah, I think he was going to take a shower. I met him in Calhoun. Calhoun. I don't know your name, dude. My bad. Shouts out to the uh, the heavy haul driver I met in Atlanta. He was parking his truck. Y'all don't know at the time that y'all, you guys were speaking to me and saying hey to me and all that stuff. That stuff really gets me up, man. And I appreciate y'all. Y'all, y'all, <clears throat> you don't know how much just a hey for that was going on could do for you, for, for a person. They, 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 whoever you are, Tony, um, D, um, Marcus, Mike. Everybody that's going through your thing, man. Listen, man, don't sweat it, man. It's gonna get greater. So I'm finally rolling. Just, I just decided, like I said, I decided to take a good 30 minute break. Give me something to eat. Cut the camera on. Talk to y'all for a little minute, man. So we gotta get up here to um. We gotta go up to um. We're probably gonna get up to like Whitestown, Indiana tonight. So I just came in here, got my cup. <clears throat> yeah, that hard, Bronco. That hard. So y'all stay around with me, man. We gonna get a little footage of us riding. We in Kentucky right now. So let's hit the road. Buckle up. Let's go. Are you? Let's go.
Our spot in our, in our nice truck. Company drive. We do a company driver for a little while, man. We're gonna see how that works, man. So our truck gets fixed. We don't know any words yet on Berkeley, but we have made it here. We here in Pleasant Perry, Wisconsin. And we're gonna go on in here. Let's go check in, get us a door, get backed up, get unloaded. Yo. Alright guys, so we're sitting here getting unloaded. And while we're sitting here getting unloaded, we gave a call to um state freightliner that has a freightliner so they man listen I don't, I don't know what's wrong with some of these dealerships these dealerships be bull crap and they be dragging you along and they be pulling on you and tugging on you i mean it is what it is man but at the same time like i called him if i wouldn't have called him he probably wouldn't have called me you feel me so the tech you know asked when the last time my filters were clean told him it was about a year ago that the filters got clean but the funny thing is the young uh, 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 old girl over here he clean my filters over there more than ever right the shop that i just went to went inside the box and told me wasn't there was nothing wrong with the filter the filters were fine now they're asking me a question about the filter whoever designed this dev system you are the devil you are because you've messed Y'all done messed up. Y'all don't know how much y'all done messed these trucks up because California is a bunch of sensitive people. And, and it's messing up the trucking industry right now. Like, these trucks are so crappy. With I, You know what I think? I think that the people that was doing these electric trucks got with the EPA and got everybody and got it together because they knew they were going to eventually try to make some electric trucks so they got together and they said let's create let's see if we can create some stuff that we can get these trucks off the road so they had to buy electric trucks and then once they did that they messed around and put all this stupid death and all this stuff in the truck now the truck go bad and if they keep putting all these deaths in the truck ain't nobody gonna want no truck no truck with death in it <clears throat> they gonna want an electric truck like Arsenio Hall say Things that make you go, that make you say, real man. Something to think about. Well, we getting unloaded. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. You know, I don't like to ramble too much, man. Come in every night and say, "Hey, boo," and then I get out. All right, my people, we are dropped, empty, get ready to ride. First load complete as a company driver. Looking for a pretty nice guy. Pretty cool, keep me running. So the next load is going 1,200 and something miles. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna get ready to ride. So guess what y'all finna do? Y'all know y'all finna ride in the back. I see y'all when we get to the ship. Yo. Bam, and we back. So now, I did, I did leave y'all in the trailer. I did, I'm sorry. I did leave y'all in the trailer. But, I got y'all out of the trailer. So now we inside, doing a little quick uh, review of the inside. I like this truck. I'm not gonna lie, I like the inside of the truck. The inside of the truck is pretty nice. Y'all check it out, man. The inside is pretty nice. I like the controls back there. I'm in love with these windows. That, I'm in love with. I'm in love with them windows, man. Nice cubby hole. And look, y'all. Hold on, my bad, y'all. A full good use of a refrigerator. That we getting ready to load up pretty soon. So it's a nice truck. The only thing, y'all know what I'm missing. Man, listen. I got 
got pros and cons with the automatic. The pros is it ain't really that much shifting you gotta do. Traffic is beautiful. It shifts itself. The con, it shifts itself. This thing takes so long to take off. So it's like, like, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you gotta go cross traffic in the automatic, if you're not used to it, go to a light. <laughs> and wait till the light turn green, for real. Cause I'm, you know, I'm so mine, I hit the gas and boom, she gone. I hit the pedal, she gone. This one, I hit the pedal on it, she act like she gotta think about it. Mm -mm, it's not gonna work for me. It's not gonna work for me. But I like it though. It's, it's a clean truck. You know, the guy keep it very clean and nice and tidy. I appreciate that. It smells good. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he running me right now. So, our first load was um, from... Speak fly. Our first load was from McDonough to Wisconsin. And then we got another load from Wisconsin. So two pickups. So, one pickup here. And, um, where, am, where am I? Sheboygan. First pickup in Sheboygan. The second pickup is down there in Kenosha. And then we'll take it to Texas. So I tried to kind of like knock the, the first pickup out the way now. So that way tomorrow, all I got to do is, because I'm going to pick it up now, and then I'm going to slide back to um, Kenosha tonight. Shut down in Kenosha. Pick up tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get in Kenosha tonight. If I can get in Kenosha tonight and pick that up, all I got to do tomorrow is drive. That's it. That's all I got to do tomorrow is just drive. So you know we out here hustling, trying to get this money. I'm trying to make it do what it do. Trying to make it do what it do. Yeah. Oh, listen, man. I'm loving life right now. I told y'all earlier, the little message I had for y'all, that really touched me and resonated in my soul. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I'm in a good space right now, man. Truck down, that's all right, but I'm still making money. I'm still able to wake up in the morning. I'm still able to get in someone's truck, and I'm still able to make a couple dollars so that I can take care of my family. Because in the long run, that's all it's all about, man. Somebody told me I wasn't an entrepreneur. They right, I'm not. Somebody told me I wasn't a businessman. They right, I'm not. Not yet. I'm learning. The guy that I'm working with, he's teaching me a lot of stuff for the business. Um, like the, a lot of the back office stuff. He's teaching me a lot of the back office things. That's what I really wanted to learn. So he's teaching me that. And it's really like... I don't know. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So don't think because you have to take a step down, it's bad. Because learning is always the key. If you take a step down to learn something, you're winning. Because when you go back to what you're doing, you're going to elevate up a little bit more. Message! Just some words from Fidel. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a stupid old truck driver. That's it. But we finna get loaded. I'm finna get my notebook. I'm finna write some notes down. Some goals that I have for myself. I'm going to write it down in my little handy dandy notebook so I can work on them. And um, I'll catch back up with y'all later. But yo. These are my old stomping grounds, y'all. Old Milwaukee. Capital Drive, man. Yeah. Custer High School. What's happening in Milwaukee? What's happening in Mill? I'm back in town for about 10 minutes. That's it. 10 minutes. Just sliding through. Sliding through the mill. Yeah, I got family that live up here. My grandmama used to live up here, you know, before she passed, God rest her. So, every now and then I come through here, I try to come see family, but I ain't got enough time to stop the day. I'm trying to go get this next load. So I'm like, you know, let me show y'all a piece of mine, a piece of Fidel. This is this, this piece of Fidel right here, man. Y'all take, y'all take a ride. Y'all take a ride through me, baby, through the meal. Let's ride. Yo!
Good boy. Wait a minute. Hold on, I got to throw something in the trash. Hold on. You know, a lot of drivers don't use the trash. Hold on. Signature wiping. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. And how are you? Early in the morning. What's going on, people? Good morning. How y'all doing? How you doing? Hello. <laughs> man, what's good, man? It's another beautiful day out here. Walk up on this side of the dirt. Got all your limbs and everything. Hey, let's be thankful. Let's give some praise, you feel me? Well, we finna get ready to head over here to Kenosha to pick up this load. Load don't pick up till two. So we're gonna try to squeeze in there early. We're about 25 miles away from it. We're gonna try to squeeze in there early today. See if they can go ahead and load us up so we can head on south. We're going to uh, Rosenberg, Texas. A little south of um, Houston. So, like I said, I know the dealio. Gonna go ahead and grab us a cup of coffee, get the hygiene right, brush the teeth, and uh, we out here. So, once again, I'd like to thank y'all for joining us for this ride. Buckle up, stay tuned, and let's get ready to roll. Yo! Shots out to 10-4 Trucking. 10-4 Trucking took care of me with the tow. Um, I only paid $250 for the tow for the deductible. And I mean, at the time when I got towed, it was it was, it was a blessing because I was on it. I was mad, I was frustrated. I, find, I needed to find out how I was gonna get it moved. 10-4 Trucking, insurance. Y'all need to holler at Jessica, man, and get that, get, get your insurance and get that roadside package, man. Oh man, it's beautiful. Beautiful, can't complain about it, man. But we here, door number four. We super early, we supposed to be here at two o'clock. We here at 8.45, getting loaded. I don't even think we are gonna be here about 30 minutes because we ain't getting number two pallets. And then we heading down to um, Texas, you feel me? So, y'all, uh, oh yeah, and I gotta call Freightliner at Austell. Cause they told me to get them a call by 9 o'clock this morning. So me being the man that I am, I'm like, you know what? i give you a call about 10. Let you get in, get your coffee, sit down, flirt with everybody you got to flirt with in there, fart, do whatever you got to do <laughs> before I call you. Because I need to know what's going on about baby. You feel me? So we're going to go ahead and get them a call. And we're going to come back on here. And I'm going to let y'all know what the happens with, with the happening and how the happen go together with the happening. And when you put the happening together and, and the happening go to happen and happen, happen, happen. You feel me? What the hell did you just say? Stay tuned. Yo. Just like that, we loaded. Hey, man. I got a song in my head that I've been listening to. I ain't even been listening to it, but it's in my head. Y'all want to hear it? Like the kid, here go. Come on and whip, whip it, baby. Now, whip it right on. Let's whip it, baby. Whip it all night. Come on now. That's enough. I don't need to get copyrighted or. Yeah, I need, I need my money. I need my money. I won't, I, I won't waste your time. Listen, man. Yup, man, look. We load it. <laughs> we load it. Y'all see, we load, they put the seal on, they back in. You just back into the door, you ain't gotta open your door, they do all that for you. Seal you, scrap you up, and you ready to go. So we load it, we finna get in the wind, and I see y'all when we stop for the night. Yo! What they do, what they do, what they do, man. What's happening, man? You got 
y'all see where I'm at. I'm inside the truck stop at T8. I made it to Earl, Arkansas. With 18 minutes left on my clock. <laughs> it's been a good day, man. I did 623 miles today. I'm pooped. Pooped. Going to Rosenberg, Texas. I gotta be there Monday for 5 a.m. delivery. So tomorrow I'm gonna get up at about 6. And I'm gonna go ahead and break out. Run my whole clock. I should be done at least by 3 o'clock. 3, 4 o'clock. So at least I can get up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going all the way there too. I'm going straight down. So at least I could be there um, about 3, 4 o'clock. Yeah, y'all. But Pete, this, guess what, y'all? Birthday is ready. Boy, I got that phone call today. Birthday is ready. But I'm not going to get my girl yet. You know, I got a plan. I'm going to stay. See, last I give you six weeks to do temp driving, right? So I'm going to temp drive for these six weeks and do the truck. That's pretty cool dude, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Pretty cool dude. Like I say, I'm learning the business as well as driving, too. So he teaching me some things, and, and you know, we're going over some things. So I'm going to soak up all this knowledge. And then also to give me time to take care of a couple more things with Bertha. I got to do a PM on Bertha. I got to do a 120 on Bertha. Um, I got to get my 2290. So I got a couple more things I got to do to her before I put her on the road. So I'm going to go ahead and ride this thing out for about these good shit. We're going to ride that. Go ahead and gallop. Just be like that. Yeah, so I came here to watch TV, but apparently they done broke the damn TV in here. So I'm just sitting in the chair watching watching some stuff on my phone. I said, let me in. Look, man, I'm kicked up, man. I'm the only one in here. Kicked up, chilling, man. I'm going to stay in here for a little minute because sometimes you got to get out that truck, man. You do, and it'll, it'll drive you crazy if you don't. So I'm just going to record my video in my video off let y'all know where i'm at what i got going on but birthday is re oh yeah also it was the number five injector it was the number five injector so apparently the number five injector was wasn't like i told y'all the number five injector wasn't working so basically what it was doing was it was shooting the diesel straight to the depth so it was shooting diesel so much to the depth that the filters got saturated with the diesel fuel which is what made the truck cut off so, everything was under warranty. I got the filters. I got two brand new filters, two brand new clamps. I got a brand new injector. Everything is fixed. And the only thing I really got to pay is 267 and that's for them putting the dry shaft back on, but they put two new um, U-bolts up underneath there. So I got two new parts from a dry shaft. Listen, bro, ain't nothing but a blessing, man. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't stressed out. I was stressed out a little bit, but as I sat down and realized that there's bigger things that's coming from what's going on, like one one dude say, we go through pure hell. Yeah, we do. But at the same time, sometimes it's worth it, man. Feel what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't built for this, then that's when you become a company driver. If you ain't built for this, if you can't stand this, if you can't take the good with the bad, then you ain't really made for this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing... Like, I don't talk about nobody, and I'm not saying I'm better than anybody, but at the same time, don't get in the comment section and go to getting slick and talking about what you wouldn't do and what's this and what's that. Man, listen, don't speak on what somebody else doing, man. Somebody else doing something you probably can't do or you too scared to damn do, but you y'all want to do this all the time. I might lose a couple subscribers off of this. I don't want to, but at the same time, if this hits you in the heart, then I'm talking to you. So, with that being said, man, we finna wrap this up. I'm finna enjoy my night. I'm going back inside the truck. I done went to Walmart, got me some chicken. I got me some potato chips and peanut butter and jelly. So, I got a lot of stuff in there to keep me, you know what I'm saying, keep my stomach good without going inside these truck stops, man. So, like I said, with that being said, man, shout out to everybody who rock with your boy. Don't be late. Don't miss out. And I'm gone. A pew!